How's it going everybody, Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video, and in this video we're going to be talking about base Goku and base Vegeta, and more specifically, we're going to be talking about how I personally would like to see them implemented into the game. We've done videos like this for all four of the other DLC characters, but this one's going to be a bit different, as this time we're taking on both base Goku and base Vegeta in one video. These videos are usually some of the most fun for me to make, because like I said in a previous video, theory crafting and fighting game characters just go so well together. That being said, if any of my ideas for the characters don't mesh with yours, feel free to let me know down in the comments what you think the character should play like, because who knows, maybe you thought of something I really like but I just didn't think of at the time of recording this video. With the introduction out of the way, let's finally get to talking about these two characters, starting with base Goku, as he is the one I'm most excited for. Now in terms of team positioning, I think base Goku would fit of course best as an anchor character. Not only would the anchor position capture Goku's role in the show during this time, as in him always showing up late to the battle at the most critical moment and then stealing the show away and eventually winning, they've also just shown through the little bits of gameplay that we have that Goku does get extra benefits for being the last one alive on his team. I am of course talking about his Kaioken super move that goes from Kaioken base to Kaioken times 3 to Kaioken times 20 depending on the amount of characters you have left, times 20 being the one that you get when you're all alone of course. A mechanic like this just makes sense to have on a character that wants to stay in the back. So what does filling the anchor role mean for Goku? Well in essence it means if you're going to keep him in the back, it, he might as well be able to help from back there, which means you're going to want base Goku to have a good assist. Obviously some of his other Goku counterparts have some really good assists, that being Goku Super Saiyan and Goku Black, both with regular Kamehameha beam assist, really basic but also does the job very well. Goku Blue on the other hand got his dive kick as his assist, and obviously that has affected his play rate, in competitive matches at least. So while base Goku's assist doesn't have to be a regular beam, it would be very beneficial, but as long as his assist is usable, that should be good enough to guarantee him a spot as an anchor. When base Goku hits the field is when things start really getting interesting though, as with the recently revealed stats for these characters, and remember these don't really mean much, but they can give us an overall idea of what Arxis was going for, it seems that both base Goku and base Vegeta have an S in ease of use, so I think these two are going to play more similar to the Saiyans that we know and love, so I don't think we're going to see anything too crazy mechanically with each of these characters, Goku more than Vegeta, and we'll get into that later. Back to base Goku though, when he is on the field, I would like to see him take a more offensive approach to the game, similar to that of Bardock, with more high-low mix-up game than anything else. I would also really like to see him play more like Goku Blue than Goku Black and Goku Super Saiyan. In the way that Goku Blue fights mostly from up close to his opponent, Goku Black and Goku also do this, but their moves have much more range, and, and Goku Blue is overall just better at mixing people up when he's in their face. One thing that we can see in the trailer that got me really excited for this possibility is that Goku seems to have a command man grab that keeps the opponent on the same side they were originally on. And it also looks like it's probably going to give a sliding knockdown, which is really good as well. This means when you have somebody in the corner, you can mix in highs and lows and then go in for a grab, you can have them right back in the corner again or go into some supers. As far as other specials go, we really don't have too much on Goku. They haven't shown a lot of gameplay for these characters yet, just these trailers. That being said, we do know that he does have a Kamehameha at this point in the game, but it does look a little slower than the version Super Saiyan Goku has, if I'm seeing that properly. As far as other specials for the character go, I would really like to see base Goku have something new that sets him apart from his other counterparts that keep in theme with the staying close to the opponent thing. It does look like Goku is going to be able to charge up and throw a one-handed spear bomb, which is really cool, which brings us into the supers for the character. Obviously we have the Kaioken and the level 3 spirit bomb, which apparently takes a long time to launch. How long we'll have to wait and see, but I really do like the idea of a move being so powerful that it takes forever to hit the ground. Closing thoughts before before we move on to base Vegeta, I want to see base Goku stay close to the opponent with highs and lows mixing in that command grab in the corner to keep the pressure going. As a trade off for this, maybe we can weaken his key blast or his beams and make sure he's not doing too much from a far range. But that far range won't serve him too bad because he will be able to charge up his one handed spear bomb. Moving on to Vegeta, there is actually a lot here to be interested in in terms of his gameplay. As of right now, the information we have on base Vegeta is that he likes to use tricky powers and techniques in battle in comparison to his Super Saiyan form. Usually when they emphasize the technique strength of a character, they usually end up being a very special oriented character. Uh, think Beerus for example, he's a character that they really offered a lot for his technique, Krillin as well. Both characters that really like to implement their special
specials into their combos, which is super awesome. I actually really like that angle for Vegeta. We also have his power as an A, his speed as an A, reach B, energy B, and ease of use S, of course, as we mentioned. It also says that as an elite Saiyan warrior, Vegeta will not hesitate to destroy even weakened allies with his Galaxy Breaker. And again, is this just flavor text, or are they actually alluding to a really cool gameplay mechanic? I might be overhyping myself for this, but I think it would be so cool if Vegeta had a mechanic where he could come in and maybe wipe out one of his own teammates in exchange for a power boost or something similar like that. I don't think it's going to happen, I just think it would be really, really cool. As far as things that we do know, we have seen a couple of moves similar to base Vegeta in the trailer for him, but overall we got to see even less than the Goku one. Regardless, I would love to see base Vegeta fill this technique void in the lineup of Vegeta's we have now. Examples we see for Vegeta's techniques in the trailer include him throwing the Destructo Disc, as well as him using the EX Stomp to teleport over his enemy and hit them. What I'm getting out of this is that I really want to see Vegeta be able to control a lot of space with his supers and specials and just be able to lock down certain aspects of the game. Whether or not that comes true is going to be kind of iffy. Like I said, they did this when talking about Beerus before, and we all know how his controlling space technique ended up for him. Krillin ended up a bit better as he has one of the best beams in the game, so we can only hope the same goes for base Vegeta. But those are pretty much my thoughts on the base forms of Goku and Vegeta and how I would like to see them implemented in the game. Vegeta, obviously, I want to see him hold down space, use a lot of specials on his combos, and overall just be a faster iteration of Super Saiyan Vegeta. Goku, my thoughts were a little more in-depth, but that's because we had a lot more footage of him to go off of, and a lot more unique things to talk about, like his spirit bomb, the fact that he gets a command grab that keeps the opponent in the corner, and the fact that the high lows could complement that very well. Like I said in the beginning of this video, let me know how you would like to see the base characters play out when added into the game. Relatively soon, we are coming up on EVO in only a few days. Whether we get a brand new announcement or just some more gameplay, I'm pretty hyped either way. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. While you're down there, if you like these videos and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next video.